Welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about another very popular first quarter niche and that is Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras does come up pretty early in the year, close to Valentine's Day. So on top of thinking about your Valentine's Day designs, you wanna start thinking about some of the other uh, niches as well. This is a really quick and simple, easy design to create. And what I did was just take a bunch of different graphics essentially to create that uh, gator character that you have there in the middle. And then we just added some fun text Next. So if you would like to learn about this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so we are on Canvas home page. I am gonna be designing for a shirt, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit custom size, and I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I am, as usual, going to be designing for black, so I'm gonna go ahead and just select my background color up at the top left. I'll hit background color and then just select black. So now I'm gonna be making a Mardi Gras day design. Mardi Gras is coming up in the first quarter pretty early on around Valentine's Day. So don't forget that as you're creating your Valentine's Day designs. I do have a video on my channel on first quarter niches. So if you haven't seen that, check out my channel and you can look for that and it'll give you a lot of different ideas of different niches that you should be designing for pretty much now for the first quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a really simple but funny design uh, for Mardi Gras. It's one that's been done for a lot of different holidays and it's kind of that niche that says, shut up liver, you're fine. Only this one's going to say, shut up liver, it's Mardi Gras. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more fun. We're gonna put um, kind of a crocodile on there or an alligator, I'm not quite sure what the character is. And then, um, some Mardi Gras color, some masks, all of that. So let's go ahead and just find some of our graphics here. So I can go to the left-hand side of the page and up to the tab that says Elements. And from there, we can go ahead and do a search. So let's just start off pretty broad and we'll just go with Mardi Gras. Spelled that wrong, Mardi Gras. There we go. And we're gonna search graphics. And so you can instantly start to get an idea of what kinds of things there are, what looks cool. There's some cartoon characters there. That's the one that I wanted to use. So I'm just gonna start with him because I thought that he looked really fun. And I'm gonna keep him pretty small because I can always resize him and make him bigger in a little bit, but I'm gonna make him a little bit more Mardi Gras fun. So I'm thinking he can hold a mask, he can hold a beer, maybe we'll put a hat on his head and we'll just kind of make it look fun at Mardi Gras. And so I had already seen, I liked this mask here without even having to scroll a lot, though there are tons of masks. This one just looked fun and colorful. So I may have him holding this mask kind of on a stick here. And so I wanna make sure that the mask looks about the right size for him. So think about it, if you were to put it on his face, what size would it be? That's about the size that I want the mask to be. And I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna create a little line stick, but I'm gonna start with that. Other thing I wanted to do was some sort of hat. Here's a crown, I think the crown looks good. There's a lot of other crowns here you can go with. There's also like jester hats there. So he was wearing a jester hat and I'm sure we can look that up. Here's a jester hat there. And so lots of fun things that we could do. Uh, that one's kind of cool too. So that's another one that you could do is sort of the that style hat. I don't know if that's gonna really work with his character. Something like that, maybe not, but you get the idea. I actually like the crown. So I think I'm gonna go with the crown. We're gonna make him look like he's wearing this crown. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna have to angle it like it looks like it's actually going on his head a little bit. And so I'm gonna bring it down so that it sits something like that. I don't want it to look like it's covering up his eye, look like it's actually going around his head. And just like that, he is, you know, got his little crown. I also wanna put a beer in his hand or some sort of a Mardi Gras drink. Let's just go ahead and hit beer. Oops. So I can do a search up here for beer. All sorts of different cool beers. I want him just to be holding something simple, probably like more of a glass of beer. I want the general style to match this general style of design because it all has to look like it goes together. So what I'm looking for is a glass that looks like it's pretty similar in style. And so here's a nice simple one here. This one might work a little bit. I can look to see if I find anything that might look better. There's a bottle. I do think that I tend to like, here's a mug, maybe more of just a glass. 
I do want it to be actually looking like beer. So sometimes with some of these, it's harder to tell if you do like the bottle with the cup, it's easy to tell. But let's just see if I can get a cool glass of a beer. If you search for a long time, you can't quite find what you want. You can always just hit glass, glass of beer. Here's a glass. For example, I can shrink that down so it looks like he's sort of holding or drinking said glass of beer. He's ready to drink said glass of beer. So depending on how I want that to look, I can either have it in his hand so he's just holding it, or I can have it look like it's sort of starting to go into his mouth a little bit, maybe even look like he's starting to pour it into his mouth a little bit. And so, you know, you can play with the placement and all of that. So that looks kind of cool there if he looks like he's about to pour it into his mouth. Um, again, I wanted this to look like it was a mask on a stick. So some of those Mardi Gras masks have like sticks where you can hold it up. So to do that, the easiest way would just be to create a line. So if I just hit L on my keyboard, it will create a line. I'm gonna move that line down out of the way. Oops, because it's a little bit easier to work with it if I just move it out of the way. And I'm thinking, let's say I make that line purple just so I can see it. I gotta make it a lot thicker so that I can see it. So something like that. I don't necessarily have to round the ends or care about the ends because it's just going to go from there to there and the ends will be covered up. But I can go ahead, try to make it a little bit shorter, whatever length I think I need. Once I have it the way I want it, I can kind of angle it again, shrink it down. I move it out of the way and do this first because it'll have a tendency with the lines to like lock itself to something and I don't want it to lock itself somewhere. I don't want it to lock itself. So I do like to kind of do something like this. Sometimes it's easier to get the line first and then move the mask where I want it. So there's my line. I can hit control in my left bracket and that moves it to the back and then I can put my mask on it. And because I want it to kind of look squared to the mask, it would look something like that. So now he's holding up the mask. He's got his beer that he's ready to drink. He's got his crown. So that is one way that you can just sort of take a graphic, put some other graphics with it and make your own character. So now I've got my character. You can click anywhere outside, drag over everything. It'll group it together. If you hit group, you can now take this whole thing and move it in the page. So now I can make him nice and big. I can center him in the page however I want, maybe a little bit more that way. And so he looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna add some text to my design. So what I'm gonna do is hit T on my keyboard and pull up a text box. I'm gonna bring it up here. And I'm just gonna tentatively pick a color. Let's go with the yellow there. So it's sort of matching right now. And this is going to say, and I'm gonna do it probably in all caps, shut up the liver. And so that'll be there. And then at the bottom, and I can hit control D if I just wanna, oops, duplicate it. That way it's easy to work with. And I'm gonna put it's Mardi Gras. There we go. And so it's gonna look something like that. And now at this point, what I'd like to do is pick some fonts. And so fonts I was gonna go with, the first one I saw, and I was gonna do two different ones. This one, I found one that was called Crushed that I thought looked pretty good. You can look for any fonts that you want. You may look for something that's more of like a narrow font. You can look for something that's more retro. You can look for something that's more bold. You know, lots of different ways. You can go through different display fonts and look if you find something that looks more like a party font. So all sorts of ways that you can search for this. But I was just gonna go something like that with the shut up liver. And I think I'm gonna do an effect. I'm gonna go ahead and curve it just a smidge. So that it just sort of looks like it's curving around him just a little bit. So I like that, shut up liver. And by the way, if you want him facing the other direction, we could always just go ahead and have taken the graphic and hit flip. I don't know if it's going to let me, yeah, it'll just flip him, but it won't flip the whole grouping. So let's undo that. So you probably would have wanted to flip him first. Um, 
but different ways we can do that. We can always save this whole image together and then flip it. Um, or we could have just started off with him facing the other direction. So just depending on which way you want him facing. I mean, I went with him facing this way and that's fine. So I got my shut up liver and then down here where it says it's Mardi Gras, I was gonna go with a font simple. I was going with um, Granada, what is it, Granada, Granada, there we go. Something narrow, I wanted it to be narrow because I wanted to be able to make it big. If you pick a wider font, um, then it's going to fill the page um, and you won't be able to make it very big. You'll have to shrink it down so it doesn't go off the edges of the page. If you pick a more narrow font, then you can make it a little bit larger without it going off the page. So if you want it to be something that's easily read, you probably want to pick more of a narrow font and something that's got a little bit of a boldness to it. And so, so far, so good. I'm thinking I'm going to make this bottom part here maybe a purple color, maybe the same purple color as that stick, which is already right here, so that's easy to do. Oops. So not wanting to do it. Let's see, there we go. And then the yellow, I can keep this yellow, which I think might have been the yellow off of here, or I can make it a more bright yellow to match him a little bit better. So I can play and see what kind of looks the best. So if I was to use my eyedropper feature to just go ahead and, you know, match him, that's going to be that really bright yellow which is fine if you're going for something really bright. It looks nice on a dark colored shirt. It wouldn't look good if you did a light shirt. Or I could try to match again the crown maybe a little bit more or the, the mask a little bit more. Um, and I think that's what it was before. So this yellow here matched, I think, the crown a little bit better. And so you could see if I went with more of that crown color, that's more of that, you know, sort of almost an off-white, not too fond of that. I could go with more of the gold color on the crown, which is that. Um, or I could go with the mask and try to find more of one of those lighter yellowy areas here, which I think is pretty much the same goldish color there. And so right there, pretty easy. So this was a super fast design. I did this in a couple of, of minutes, really. And so this is something that you guys could do in a couple of minutes. And so all sorts of ways that you can create tons of designs pretty quickly and get them up um, for the different holidays. And something like this, of course, would sell year after year after year. If you wanted to make it a little bit more specific, you could put the year on it. So you could put 2024 somewhere on it and market it just for this year. Um, but then you would have to do that again every year. So there's pros and cons. You might do it both ways. Anyways, simple design. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments section below. I will try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Um, I've got another video coming up on another very popular uh, first quarter niche. So go ahead and stick around for that later this week. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.